Hi, my name is Samantha Milowitz from Byram Hills High School in Armok, New York, and I am honored to receive this award. For my Regeneron ISEP project, I studied traumatic brain injuries, which can harm brain tissue. One way this happens is through the body's natural immune response to injury. This response is meant to help, but it can actually cause harm by eliminating the protective function of the barrier that protects our brains, the blood-brain barrier. My study used a new in vitro model of the protective layer with human cells to identify two proteins involved in tissue damage, MMP9 and MMP2, which is what we were looking for. These findings are really important to help develop treatments for traumatic brain injuries, as well as other diseases where blood-brain barrier modification also takes place, such as Alzheimer's, Huntington's, and even addiction. Unfortunately, several years ago, my grandma suffered a stroke that left her permanently impaired. From this, I was inspired to work towards addressing the unknowns in the field of neurosciences, specifically the brain, which is why I focused on traumatic brain injuries in my project. Currently, there is no reparative treatment for TBIs, meaning the variety of animal models that exist have failed to produce a suitable method. The reason why our in vitro system was developed was to properly recapitulate the pathophysiology of a human brain so it could be closely monitored during the course of injury and treatment. More simply, we are able to monitor an isolated system of the brain, allowing us to identify therapeutic targets without the efforts of running hundreds of animal trials. I think the most important thing for students to realize when coming up with their methods is that it doesn't necessarily take rounds and rounds of mice trials to have an important finding. The way human cells react is a suitable and extremely time-effective way to identify important findings early on in science. Although I was unaware about the National Anti-Vivisection Society Who Mean Science Award prior to my participation at ISEF, I am extremely thankful for their continuous support of young scientists and their sponsorship of this award. Thank you.